sounds cozy. You like it? Yeah, I like it. I love nooks. You do? Obviously. I love nooks too. Yeah. I'm a big nooks and crannies person. Right. Like the more nooks and crannies, the more the better. Yeah. Have you ever used the word cranny outside of the word nook before? Um, there are like some words that no. you just can't use without using, like trials right. and tribulations. No one's ever like, I had a lot of tribulations. <gasps> I'm this on week. the wrong podcast. <laughs> 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 Never used either of those. <laughs> is there a difference between a nook and a cranny? I think so. Like a nook is. What like is a, a cranny? When um, I think of nooks and crannies, I think of a little corner. Right. <laughs> or like a breakfast nook. This right. is a breakfast nook, but like, you know, the area in a kitchen where you would have your breakfast table at, that I would consider like a nook, like a bay window. A mm-hmm. cranny would be. I don't <laughs> Mariah's know. like, I didn't study the vocabulary, but. <laughs> you did not podcast. give me a dictionary before coming here. Mariah, I'm so happy you're here. Thanks for having me. This feels weird, but it also feels This great. feels right. I've missed you. I know. I D- like you guys. Have you missed me? <laughs> I said, I know. (laughs) (laughs) I missed you, but I also saw you like two days ago. That's true. That was exciting. When I saw you the other day, I was like, oh my God, I love him. I love you too. Not like that, Patricia. No, yeah. Not like that. Not like that, Heath. Not like that. (laughs) Oh my God. Uh, This episode's getting spicy already. I'm hot. And we changed up the dynamic actually on how we're sitting. Yeah. I, I used to sit there. He used to sit here. Oh, you guys are crazy. But then I felt like my neck was getting sore because I was constantly having to go back and forth between two people. Your neck and crannies? My neck. (laughs) (laughs) I feel more direct. This makes sense. It does. This is my bad side. Oh, you can't see me from there. No, No, that that camera doesn't have you. I'll just talk to you guys like this. (laughs) Well, that camera is probably the one that you're going to be. Okay. You look great. (laughs) (laughs) All right, we're good. What have you been up to today, Mariah? Oh. Just a lot of like work. Just getting ready for season two of Unfiltered. We filmed. I edited it for the first time today. Are you happy with it? It was. I started editing it seven p.m. last night. Oh my goodness! It and is... I got done. I ran over when I texted you that I'm on my way. Ten minutes ago, that's when I got finished. Whoa! Well, thank it was you just, so much yeah. for putting us at least on the schedule. You're welcome. I could pencil you in, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> we made it work. You like the new set? I do. It's really nice. Yeah, it looks yeah. really, really cool. I miss the couch, though. I know. It's still... It's in the house. Uh-huh. It's in pieces, if you want it. Do you remember, like, originally we were planning on having it in one of your guest bedrooms yes. at your house? And yes. <laughs> like, it was the... So small. Like, that luggage-style desk, and you yes. and me were off to the side. We tried, like, organizing it. Like, if this was the desk, we were like, what if we are here, and then it's, like, Heath and Zane, and then we're just in the corner. Remember when we didn't want to be on camera either. Oh yeah, we, we were, were thinking kind of like behind the scenes, and they were like, but no, like be still on camera. speaking into the mics. Yeah, but the plan was to just chime in once in a while, and then we ended up telling stories, and then it was just like yeah, it changed kind of the whole dynamic of right. what you guys used to be like had. in the back, and it was like dark, right? Yeah, yeah, and we were just going to come in during certain times for like certain right. moments or games. Gotcha. But then the conversation just ended. Yeah, up. we couldn't help but chime in because <laughs> we bring the juice and the funny right. for old times' sake. The, the juice, juice the, the funny, funny, the juice, the, the funny. funny. The juice. I start crying. I've never felt wow, so left out of anything in my life. <laughs> <laughs> it's all right. It's, it's all not right. your thing. Our thing is puzzles. Oh, yes, it is. Oh, yeah. You guys Hell are puzzle yeah. maniacs. Like mm-hmm. puzzle brain teaser puzzles, like the little yes. keychain style ones. Jigsaw yeah. puzzles are the ones that everyone knows as puzzles, but that's right. just a type of puzzle. That's a jigsaw puzzle. Right. Okay. Puzzles are just any sort of... The brain teaser ones. Like problems to solve. Physical yeah. problems to solve. Right. Right. I'm all about those too. They're like wooden and metal and little... How often do you buy like new puzzles? Uh, well, the last like pack I bought was the one for your birthday. Oh, that was such a great and birthday I gift. and every time you come over, I'm like, did you bring the puzzles? I, I, really I should bring them more often. Them. When yeah. I when I first went to their house and like it was the first time. First of all, your house is ridiculously incredible. Thank you. Decorations amazing. Thank and you. then in the guest house, there was like this this like table with all these puzzles on it. And like I've only seen these on the internet. And like. It's pretty nerdy, but I watch people solve like these types no, of puzzles yeah. on YouTube. They're like hour long videos of people solving it, and I'll sit there and wait. The yeah. one puzzle that's the most challenging is the one in the bottle with yeah. the little wooden dowel yeah. rod. It's, you have to get the ship out or something. You have to unscrew. You yeah. did it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I did it. You I, did yeah, it, yeah, I did it once too. And yeah. then, but I don't think I like solved it back. Right. Yeah. You got to take it out, then put it back on. Yeah. Sometimes yeah. I do go on Etsy and try to like search <laughs> those really expensive puzzles, mm-hmm. like the big oh. Pandora box looking ones yes. right. that like have multiple different layers and stuff to like them. Like the grandfather clock and like. Yes. Do you still do them? The ones that I have, I solved all of them. But the one that I was addicted to is the one with the two circles that I gave you. Yeah, it's so fun to play with. I should have brought them today, but yeah, right. We got pass the torch. If you solve them, like give them back. Okay, okay, fair. fair. But you're a big fan of like riddles, though, too, right? Yeah. Might give a riddle. 
Okay. There was a man, mm-hmm. and he A block is... of ice melted. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> that's literally <laughs> it. That's it. <laughs> Oh, that's like the most, that's like the starter riddle yeah. to get your brain thinking in like four dimensions. Yeah. Okay. I got one more for you. Okay. Mm-hmm. A man and his dog and they have to cross a river and they, cro- they don't have a boat and they don't know how to swim mm-hmm. and they cross the river and they don't get wet. I know this one, I think. Cross the river. Um, is river the name? something no but you're you're on the right track the horse's name is friday (laughs) (laughs) they waited till the the river was frozen over so they just walked across it that's what yeah that's what i was gonna say that's a good one you have to think fourth dimensionally yeah i like that i think that's why i like the office how they broke that fourth wall oh it's not a riddle it's just like i like i like thinking outside of outside of riddles outside of shows and stuff like that they like look at the camera yeah yeah should we look at the camera (laughs) <laughs> All, right, <that's> enough. <laughs> All right, now that that's over with. Yeah. How do you come up with moves? How do you dance? Sometimes like choreography doesn't make sense, but like where does it come from? Do you are there moments where you're thinking, I don't know what move to bring in here, or do you just of have course. a huge toolbox of different little routes and avenues that you can take once you've done one move to there. Okay. Yeah. I think that's why I picked up acrobatics, like all the tricks that you see me doing, Mm -hmm. throwing into the dance. Cause I'm like, okay, I could take this simple dance move, but throw a trick into it to make it cooler. Okay. Because my brain doesn't work very well when it comes to choreography. So, I mean, I've been dancing for over 20 years, so I have like dance moves from 20 years and then you just, upgrade them now the moves themselves do you Mm -hmm. still remember like full-on routines from years ago i don't but if you ask any other dancer they'll say yes oh okay i'm a i have a horrible memory yeah so when like you go to audition sometimes is that the worst when they're just like five six seven eight here are the moves and that's why i don't book jobs (laughs) you don't book jobs yeah because i can't memorize fast you stop going to auditions yeah it's hard it's very very hard they always tell me the same thing like you're such a good dancer and like we would hire you, but you have to pick it up faster. <gasps> I'm really, it's, it's memorization. The talent's there, but you have to learn routines in like 20 minutes. Was there one audition that like stuck out to you as like your worst audition of all time? Worst? Not trying to bring out your worst right. moments, but sometimes I think when like you hit your lowest, you really remember those moments and they kind of define I don't how think, you take it into the future. I don't think there was a worst one because I did really bad, but one of the most fun ones was Jojo Siwa's. <laughs> Oh, that's right. You almost went on tour with yeah. her, Yeah, right? I actually, that was the most audition I made it through. Like, I made it through all three rounds. And I was like, what am I doing? <laughs> but it was really fun. It was very, very fun. I picked up the choreography. I don't know how. There was like 400 people in the room auditioning for her tour. And uh, they made it down to the top. I think it was probably top 30 or something that I was in. And then they were like, okay, you can walk out now if social media is your job and this and that. And it was my job. And I was like, because when you're on tour for six months, like JoJo's your boss, no social media, no drinking, no, obviously that's easy, but like, there's so many rules like that you have to follow because it's Nickelodeon. So I was just like, "Uh, I think I'm okay with that. So I was just like, eh, it was fun while it lasted. What would you say to other aspiring dancers who are moving out here? Because you obviously live in the world of dance right. and then social media as well mm-hmm. and YouTube. Do you think it's best to immerse yourself in all three or do you stick with the dance crew in your dance studio and go out to all those auditions? Especially nowadays, I would I would venture out into social media. Yeah. Because once I started posting more on social media, my dancing, I was direct booking jobs from there. So the audition life, when you're just in the industry, you go to the audition with 500 other people And you'll be standing in the back. They won't look at you and you leave. You're there. You dance for 10 seconds and then you're out. They don't even look at you. It's hard. And it's like also a waste of time a lot of the time Um, because L.A. especially has like their top dancers that they always use like the same rotation. And then once in a while they look for like a new face. But it's hard. It's very hard. It's really, really difficult. It must be. It's so competitive. Your body has to be in complete fit shape in performance. Right. And is the pay even good too? For starting out, like when I first, when I had a a restaurant job and I was booking dance jobs, it was good money. It was great money, but it's not a lot. You, you, that can't be the only thing you do. Unless you're at the very, very top. Unless you're at the very, very top and you're booking like 
other jobs like Puma and Nike and stuff like that. Oh. Yeah. When you go to an audition, are they referencing like specific, like is there a, a vocabulary of moves that you just need to know and then they're like, they'll just tell you what order to do them in or is it always just brand new stuff that you need to learn on the spot? It's brand new. So like say, for example, the Justin Bieber audition, they'll play one of the songs that will be on his tour or the music video or something. You'll learn choreography in like you'll be standing shoulder to shoulder with people. They'll teach you the choreography. They don't care if you like you could see the choreographer or not. Like you'll be in the way back if you can't see like you're screwed. That's it. Like You got to stand in the front and you learn it in about 15, 20 minutes. They do the moves and then they break you up into groups of like five and then they watch the five dance and then they say yes, no, yes, no, yes, no. And then you just either leave or stay. It's Damn. very, yeah. I'll never forget when I was auditioning to be in Guys and Dolls Jr. In the, se- <laughs> in the seventh grade, we had to, we had to learn a song for luck be a lady Me too tonight. Night. And this girl cut came in from like the high school and knew all these dance moves <laughs> and she taught us the entire routine and it went over my head like i was stressing out because i thought oh i i, I want to be in theater i want to be in the musical right and i had this whole moment of self-doubt like i'm not going to get in guys and dolls because i can't nail this routine <laughs> it was so complicated mariah it's hard. Like, like i and she even like gave us like dvds of all the tapes to go home <laughs> and study it and i couldn't nail it i couldn't get it right 45 seconds sounds like a short amount of time but when you need to be doing something different with every limb of your body for 45 yeah. seconds straight and every second it's different like yeah. it's one time i had a friend who got married and he wanted to do like a dance routine with all the groomsmen for his wife at the uh-huh. wedding oh, it was gonna man. be like a surprise <laughs> it was a three minute routine it took four <laughs> months every one we had to go for two hours every week to learn what? it because it was like 10 guys and it like kept changing song it was a and three minute dance you gotta think yeah, of that yeah. it's just like a bunch of like finance dudes who had to like learn how to do all these like things and like we had to go in a row and it took so it was so hard it was so hard to do <laughs> this episode of hoot and a half is brought to you by mint mobile guys we know times are hard you got to be saving money and budgeting wisely and what better way to start than with your phone bill now mint mobile is offering a premium plan of unlimited talk text and high-speed internet for just $30 a month. Let that sink in. How much is your phone bill already being charged now? You can be saving money with Mint Mobile. Mint Mobile charges only $30 a month and they don't have any traditional retail. It's online only, so all that money that they're saving by not having stores gets passed on directly to you. So you can do it all from the comfort of your own home by switching up your phone bill to Mint Mobile. And even if you don't like it, within seven days, you get 100% of your money back guaranteed. So if you guys are interested in saving money, cutting down your phone bill, and getting that unlimited talk, text, and data plan. Not only is it high speed, it's on the nation's largest 5G network. So go to mintmobile.com slash hoot. Start saving money today, folks. Go to mintmobile.com slash hoot, H-O-O-T. Tell them again, Mike. Mintmobile.com slash hoot for $30 a month for unlimited talk, text, and high speed 5G data. Check it out, folks. Because now, well, I teach dance. I don't know if you guys know that, but I teach. That's right. (laughs) I do. Fun fact. So I take now what I learn. And as I'm teaching the kids, I'm still training myself because especially nowadays, like my body is shutting down. Like I'm young, but for a dancer, I'm I'm old. Okay. Yeah. Like I'm 26 and I can feel it in my body now. And yeah, I'm just like, I, I can't do the things I used to be able to do. Yeah. Cause I had that as a question for you because you're in incredible shape. Thank it, you. Does that come from just the routine of just dancing itself or are you having to sometimes exercise and actually like train your balance and your strength for certain moves? I know you have those like balancing blocks at your yeah. house. Mm-hmm. Do you ever like just go in there? Like today I'm purely working on like core strength. I should. <laughs> no, people always tell me, they're like, what's your workout routine? And I don't answer because I, I, I the truth is it's just from dance. Like right. if, if I like work on a routine, even for TikTok or Instagram once in a while, like that's, it's a full body workout. I mean, I'll do abs almost every day and stuff like that to like keep my, cause dance, like everything comes from your stomach, right. like balance and everything. And then naturally I'll just do handstands. Like you said, like on the blocks and stuff like that, just for fun. I love doing a good handstand. Can you do a handstand? Yeah, I can. I can probably. Well, let's hold, see. <laughs> give me, if you give me like four tries of doing a handstand, yeah. one of those handstands, I'm going to be able to hold it for over 10 seconds. Oh, that's a, that's very yeah. good. For I, your height? Yes, I know. And it's a lot. It's a yeah. lot of body to hold up. Right. Like for the longest time, I always wanted to learn how to do a backflip. Like mm-hmm. that was like my dream thing. I even remember one time when 
I was younger in like fourth grade, you had to write a letter to like your future self like in, <laughs> in middle school or you had to write a letter to you. And one of the first questions I asked my future self was like, hey, Matt, I hope things are going great. Can you do a backflip? <laughs> Thinking I could do, do it. Do you have that note? Oh, I bet it may be it's in like a folder somewhere. somewhere. Yeah. That's so that was like funny. my top question I had for my future self was, "Can you do a backflip?" Thinking really I'd be able to funny. nail it. But I'm so tall; it's a lot of body and mm -hmm. a lot of bones. You never yeah. learn how to do it, though, right? No, I can yeah. do a backflip on a trampoline. Okay, mm. a That's back good. handspring, probably not. Not anymore. But no, not at all. But I, I think it could, if you got the courage in me, I could do a backflip on a trampoline. Cool. Yeah, cool. So, That's Mariah, <laughs> <laughs> Mariah, you've been dancing since you were three years old. Yeah. That was on your famous birthday as I read that. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know where that My came God. from, though. But three yeah. years old? Yes, I've been dancing since I was three, but I wasn't a good dancer at all. Like, if do you watch Seinfeld? Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. My mom. I, would... I don't. <laughs> like, did you okay, see right, Mike's yeah. whole body shifted right when you asked that question? I'm listening. Go on. <laughs> um, my mom called me Elaine because I used to, like, oh I couldn't my gosh. dance. I couldn't. She's a horrible dancer. Uh -huh. Couldn't dance. And I really liked it, though. My mom was like, I can't believe she likes to dance. She's I was horrible. <laughs> oh I had two God. left feet. I was pigeon toed, like, really bad. And then I really wasn't a good dancer until I was probably 15. And then it just clicked. It clicked. Like I started watching YouTube tutorials and started training myself. And I was like, oh, oh, yeah. So I was in dancing school. I liked it. I enjoyed it. But I taught myself how to tumble. And then I fixed up my technique and like the rest is history. So your teachers never like sat you down and were like, hey, maybe this isn't the right path for you. They just, <laughs> they, just they were great teachers. But like I said, once YouTube came out and I knew that there was tutorials, I was like, oh, I could do this like at home. Right. Just teach ah. myself because my, my mom did not put me in competitive dance. So it wasn't we're really like enforced, like you have to be this flexible to be good. You have to do this many turns. Right. And it wasn't really push. It was more like a hobby. Uh -huh. So I wanted to be like super competitive. So I trained myself to be better. And you're pretty well versed. What? Like classically? Can you do tap, jazz? I could do ballet. <laughs> I did everything. I could do. I'm not a good ballerina, but I know ballet like terminology and the foundation. And I know like how to teach someone to be really good. I can't Irish step dance and I don't do ballroom either. Oh. Like dancing with the stars type of, everyone's like, go on dance with the stars. I was like, I don't know how to do ballroom. Did you know how to country like two step before you met Heath? Cause Heath is really good. <laughs> we did, uh, did you square dance in fifth grade? Yeah. What? Well, why did we, we have to square dance? Yes, we had a why? square dancing segment in PE. Yes, in gym. Oh why? My. I don't know. <laughs> I think it that was, was just my, like, the most American maximum. thing you could right. do in PE was learn how to square dance. Did they yeah. teach you square dancing in, in uh, Jewish school in New Jersey? No, they, <laughs> absolutely <laughs> no, they not. not. Yeah. I don't even know what square is that where you dance. Swing in a your partner around and oh, around. Really, do yeah. the do -si do And they oh, would yeah. partner you up with the boy or girl. Oh. It was like this whole thing. Yeah. Oh, my, pa my parents <laughs> took me to an Irish step dancing like conference thing and it was like a ballroom night and I had to like dance with like these girls who were really good at <laughs> Irish step dancing and I was just like freestyling with what I saw and luck of the Irish. You I got the know legs was... for it. Hey, I think I do. You can I, do it. I, I, yeah, I think I can kind of like improvise. I can moonwalk really well. Oh, and that's, that's like my go-to move. Really? Moonwalk. I've never seen you moonwalk. Jerk. <laughs> Two step or the uh, love... now watch me or walk it out walk, walk it, it out. out that one I, I can do, do really what about... well too. Uh, oh that one what is this dance called oh, you is this love a, that. a this is the goth dance I think it's like it's like called goth dancing it's the kid with the sunglasses right the oh yes yeah the like bl the pink and green yeah. is that his dance but you know the YouTube clip where those all those goth people are like under a bridge and <laughs> it, it, they have that like rave music I think that's yes. where it all came from is like goth dancing is that this where is it originated from yes if you guys the people who are listening I'm <laughs> moving my hands in this very particular way <laughs> I was so happy when I finally learned that move but yeah you were like ask a question. Yeah, it it's in. like it's like cross it in. Why throw it away? <laughs> bring it back. Not say interested. No to it again. What? And then you just, Not interested. Yeah, what? Go, go back to that. Mariah, you are from Allentown, Pennsylvania. Yeah. The third most populous city in the state of Pennsylvania. Did you know that? No. I didn't know that either because I thought you grew up in like rural Pennsylvania, and then I looked up Allentown, and it's the third most populous city. Oh wow! Next yeah. to Philadelphia and Pittsburgh, I think. Yeah. So Allentown is like forty-five minutes outside of Philly. Okay. I, my address isn't Allentown. It's like within like that 
range. But I always say Allentown because everybody knows what Allentown is. So I'm always like, oh. I know. I was trying to get you and Heath to come out to Punxsutawney. Oh, to yes. Go, to for go the Groundhog. Hog, but oh, we know. didn't make it happen. We right. should eventually in the future. Next time. Yeah, next, next year. February 1st. Hopefully. <laughs> hopefully. We'll see. The people need it. I think the Groundhog you know. gets predicted on the atmosphere of the day, though. Like, if the world needs it. The groundhog will predict an early spring. <laughs> Matt cried when he saw it in person. Because I couldn't I believe it. It was like a one in ten chance of him predicting an early spring. And he did predict an early spring. Yeah. We couldn't believe it. So I love that you bought the merch from it too. Yeah, me like, too. And That's the hat, great. Oh, I had to. I know. It's it's the greatest. I'm thinking about starting my own chapter of the groundhog out here. So if we I don't go, we'll have our own party. But the thing is, everyone needs to be here at like three in the morning. Well, if it's Eastern time and it happens around seven in the morning, everyone's yeah. got to be here four. at like four. So either it's a That'd late night or so we could, yeah, a late night or, or an very early morning, early morning. Yeah. and hopefully an early spring. But oh, uh, that would be so that'd be much fun. fun. Yeah, the what? city needs like that <laughs> element. Yes, I they think really so. do. Yeah, I can. I'll have my own hat. I'll be like a member of the inner circle. <sighs> we can make. We can make like the the I'll, Studio City chapter. Yes, and I'll dress you up as Phil the Groundhog, <laughs> <laughs> and, I'll, and I'll have like a wooden stump, and I'll oh, that'd tap be tap tap. Sick. It and you can come out. So you'll be the prognosticator. I'll be the prognosticator of all prognosticators. <laughs> oh my god! Oh, Look at it us sounds like a plan. plans. I love it. You do a very good like Eastern accent, but is that like a Pennsylvanian accent? I thought you were Staten from Island. Yeah, I thought you, you were go, from okay, New York. You, yeah. Oh, wait, are you from New York? I was born in New York. Oh, I know people get so confused. I'm learning these things about you, and I've I known was, you for years. Born, Maybe famous birthdays isn't the place to research right. the guests. Before. Uh, well, I grew like, up in Pennsylvania, so you're not wrong. Okay. But if I say certain words, people are like, "Well, where are you from?" From, and I'm like, "Okay, I'm from Staten Island, but I've only lived there for seven years." Yeah. Oh, yeah. So you grew up eight to age seven in Staten Island, and then moved to Allentown. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, but my parents are born and raised in Brooklyn and Staten Island, yeah. so they have the thick accent. Uh, They're flying in tomorrow if you want to hear it. <laughs> do do but, a little bit of it right now. Yeah, but let's right. do the rest of it. Uh, yeah, yeah, I'll do the rest of it in this accent. All right. Oh, oh wow. wow! This is it. All right. Yeah. Even the whole body language, just like. Yeah. You well, what do you want me to do? What do you want me to say? I don't understand. <laughs> <laughs> That's how my mother talks. You have no idea. You have no idea. She yeah. goes, Mariah. Mariah. Oh, she puts the R at the end of like the yeah. word. And, yeah. And pizza. Then, or did you order pizza or I don't no? think that's such a good idea, okay? Yeah, it's a bad idea. It's a bad idea. <laughs> but then idea. if a word actually ends with an R, they can't say it. So, oh, look in the right. mirror. But it's like there's mirror, there's yeah. an R at the end of mirror, so they don't say mirror. Or, they, or get drawer. in the car. Get yeah. in the car. Can you open the drawer and get my pills? Yeah. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Wow. Yeah. yeah. I, I when he just told me that you're from Allentown, Pennsylvania, I'm I was like, I don't think that's right. Cause you have the New York DNA, mm -hmm. you have the attitude, the quick wit, yeah. and the accent, which is like very hard to That was very nice like, of you. Matt can't do a New York mm -hmm. accent in the same way like I can't do a yeah. Texas accent. But no, like yeah, I can't do like a New York accent. Like what? <laughs> yeah. I, I live in Manhattan. I, like no, that's it's terrible. He's got his like. Oh, you know, my dad's from Garland. Oh, like that dialysis is more kind of like this right, kind of an accent. Right, right. See, it's that's more kinda... I can't do that. Yeah, the, it's, they, it's, I can only do it because that's where my entire family's from. Do you have a good sense of like a Pennsylvanian accent though? I I'm all Pennsylvania. Yeah, well, what? not all, but most. Like, what is like a Pennsylvanian accent? Just how you're talking. Like, oh, like, really? But like, I thought there's like a Pittsburgh kind of accent. Where they're are like different. Warsh, they're right. Like, they say like soda pop, like that type of stuff. But Allentown is just normal. If it, if anything, it's closer to Jersey. Okay. Yes, but yeah. there's also the Philly accent where they say things like home. Yeah, and like weird phone. stuff like that. Like yeah. down uh, downtown or <laughs> 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 like but that bet. You know, you know that like that like. I know what you're talking about. Cherry I can't, Hill, Philly, yes. like, oh, you want to go home together? Like, home, oh, it's, home. it's, not, it, it's yeah. not a southern accent, but it's like kind of getting there. It's like right. in between North Carolina and like New Jersey. That's good. Yeah. yeah. Accents are so cool. I know. Yeah. Isn't that crazy? Yeah. We're, we've been trying to like nail a Minnesota accent for a while. Like, oh, we just, Minnesota. We just watched Fargo. Minnesota. Oh, that's super. Oh, you're that's, darn, yeah. that's a real sweet deal. Don't I'm you know? You. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you're darn tootin'. Darn tootin'. <laughs> darn yeah. tootin'. Oh, yeah. Hootin' a have <laughs> oh yeah this is we're having a blast matt we've been debating about going to fargo just for fun oh but we mariah i think we share the similarity we both come from very big families we mm -hmm. really value our cousins and love spending time with yes. them do you want to have that same childhood for your kids do you want to have like a big family what are you nuts yes <laughs> of course <laughs> of course same. yeah do i was talking to my cousins the other day because we do like christmas it's like a huge thing to have christmas and i we're talking about, okay, which cousin is going to, we're finally getting old enough where people have houses, like cousins have houses. So like 
the aunts and uncles are like, okay, which cousins can start doing Christmas at their house? Cause it's usually at my parents' house. Right. So we're passing the torch and we're kind of like, I can't picture Christmas without my cousins. Like we're planning, like our kids are going to grow up together and all this stuff. Like our kids are going to love their second cousins and get along with them. It's going to be, uh-huh. Heath is in for a rude awakening. <laughs> <laughs> but you're going, you're going from being the kids to being the adults. Yeah. That's huge. Mm-hmm. What's the best Christmas present you ever got? Oh, I hate that question. Okay, we'll skip it. Sucks. <laughs> 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 no, I always like, we get a lot of like practical gifts. Like growing up, we didn't get like very materialistic, crazy. We weren't allowed to have anything, but we would get like um, practical gifts that we needed. So like socks excite me like to this day. I get so excited because I it's stuff that you don't want to pay for. Yeah. And then you get them. Like I got a cheese board last year and I was so excited. <laughs> I was like, I don't want to pay for a $30 cheese board. But when you get it for Christmas, like hell yeah. Yeah, I always know. remember my worst Christmas gifts, though. <laughs> Not my best ones. My best one was You're probably... You're so spoiled. <laughs> but like, I rem- well, the one I always remember... Oh, I think I talked about it on Unfiltered. Which where I one? got Barbie Pet Detective. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So I like liked uh, being a detective so and hunting down like uh, neighborhood pets that were missing. Okay. And Barbie came out with this computer game called Barbie <laughs> Pet Detective. And you could go around finding all the, the local neighborhood pets. Mm-hmm. And so... I saw that commercial and I told my mom, I go, that game looks really cool. Ugh, I hate that it's Barbie. But then my mom told my aunt and we're opening up Christmas presents around all of my cousins. And I open it so up and it's Barbie Pet Detective. And immediately I was like, this isn't <laughs> <laughs> wrong gift. Someone gave me the wrong gift. I, this obviously isn't mine. Mortified. But, oh, oh, I was gosh. immediately like, get this away from me. I Nope. I don't want you it. And I didn't, it. I didn't really want it. And I didn't play the game. I just mentioned it looked kind of cool. But it was pretty embarrassing so opening that up in front of all of my cousins. What happened? Did you keep it? Did you return it? Did you... Um, no, I think they returned it. But I remember my aunt taking me into a room and like apologizing. To me. Oh, wow. You were, <laughs> she was like, I'm visibly... sorry. I really thought you wanted this game. And I was like, I mean, I kind of did. Just not, <laughs> not in front of all my cousins. You should have oh, just my... gotten Carmen San Diego or something. Oh, that's oh, a great. A little yeah. cooler. A lot of times, like for birthday presents, this is the most Jewish thing we ever used to do. But like my my parents, whenever we would have our birthday parties and all the kids would come and bring us presents, my parents would say, do not open them. So Mm -hmm. because what we would do is take all the presents, go to Toys R Us, get the store credit and then like pile up all the money and get the thing that we actually Uh wanted. So you get like eight kids over, you get like two hundred dollars worth of gifts. and Then you go and buy a PlayStation. So you return all the like little little Jewish life hack for For all you kids out there when you want to get the better birthday present. Down the street from my house is where Frank Sinatra used to live. I probably go past that house like three times a week. Wow. Just to stand there and be like, he drove down this street. Like, this is sick. I know Mariah and I got so excited when we went to see the E.T. set or where they like filmed the street and the park and all of that. We went nuts about. And you lived close by to the house from Halloween, right? Yes, in Pasadena. Love that. And I live right by the Brady Bunch house and every time. Oh, I I took my parents there. Yes. That's so so cool. And he didn't even know about it. Like, he was living there for almost a year. year. And then I was on maps and I looked at at the map, and I go, wait, the Brady Bunch house is right there. They turn, they renovated the inside. It was a special on HGTV. They just redid it for the reunion. The whole wow. inside, they replicated it. So yeah. you guys are nostalgic about like cultural things, or is it also like I, you look at an old yearbook and you're like, oh, yes, I wonder what and that especially. Like I will go through my parent, like my, I think I get it from my mom because my mom, we probably have like over a hundred albums from when we were born to when we grow up. My dad recorded everything growing up. Like we just have everything on film pictures um i posted a picture recently of me and my dad's old baseball jersey from the 70s like that i was like can i just please have it he has a whole box filled with all his jerseys from like all the sports that he played and like Mm -hmm. just wearing it and seeing that he has a picture in it and putting them side by side like that gets me like emotional and i don't know where to put that energy like maybe you'll have an idea (laughs) i told Heath, i was like i'm so passionate about Things like that. You're sentimental. I'm very sentimental. And like sometimes it really gets to my head. Like I'm overly sentimental and I'll like keep little things. And Oh, Patricia is the same way. Oh my God, it's horrible. She goes through her grandparents' closets all the time and just finds like, and they look great. These outfits. But it's great she brings them back to life. Yeah. But she just can't stop. Sometimes she just collects too many things. Yeah, I just love it. Everything, like things that like have meaning. The best is when you have like an itch from the past. You're like, I remember this TV show or this movie 
movie and there were like two teddy bears going down a magical slide and you have to like Google and find out what Little it is. Little keywords yes. like could possibly be this. It's the hunt of that faint yeah. memory and like affirming that it was real and it did happen. Yeah. Like I love that. Right. Like, or like something with brush. your siblings that no one else can recall or have on record and you're never, it's something that is ungoogleable, but it's like a thing that you had like a yes. snippet of a show from a Blue's Clues episode that aired one time in 1993. Yes. But for you and your brothers, that was like, that was like right. a reference that you guys made for nine years. Yes. And like, you'll never find that clip anywhere. Yes. Like the other day I was thinking about blue bonnets and blue bonnets is the state flower in Texas and it's illegal <laughs> to pick blue bonnets. Got but, it. So whenever I was a kid and I saw like a blue bonnet on the ground and like I picked it up, I was like, oh, I'm breaking the law. Right. But there was an episode of Rugrats where it was the episode that talked about Chucky's mom's death and why Chucky's mom passed away. Yeah. And there's a scene and I just remember it where the dad picks up the diary of the mom and there's a blue bonnet in the diary. And I re remember as a kid just specifically being like, like oh, oh Chucky, she's from Texas. She broke the law. Like, oh. <laughs> oh, that's Chucky's funny. Chucky's mom broke the law. And but I always had that in my head. And then the other day I'm like, did that actually happen in the Rugrats? And I looked it up and sure enough, she like the whole scene was that's in there. That's so funny. It's like those types of things that yeah. I love. But was it illegal to kill a praying mantis? Okay. What? It was. <laughs> But I looked it up, and plus I saw on TikTok, somebody said, do you know that the whole it's illegal to kill a prime mantis doesn't exist? Really? It's not real. That was like, that sounds like a blue bonnet thing in New Jersey. Like, if you saw a praying mantis, yeah. like, everyone would gather around and just make sure no one touched it. The yes. wind didn't blow on it, because, like, it was, <laughs> they, like, they would say you would go to jail if you killed a praying yes, mantis. Yes, you would go to jail. That was the thing. I'm pretty sure, though, the Texas law still stands. Oh, it's that's actually a law in Texas. Yes. Oh, okay I'm, okay. I'm pretty sure oh. it's illegal to pick them because a lot of times they grow the in like flowers. natural. <laughs> the they mantis. grow in like natural public places, and people want blue bonnets, and so uh. they'll go and like dig them out and put them like on their own property or something like that. So when you say a praying mantis, though, there's no like, ah, oh, remember when it used to be illegal to? Kill? <laughs> you don't have that like reference at all. No, no, but I've you never know heard. what I'm talking about. Yeah, I know exactly what you're talking about. I I have praying mantises that there's like a couple that hang around my house now, and I I still in my brain I'm like, don't even touch that. Like you can't. <laughs> Um, what do you feel are like the biggest differences between you and Heath and also like what are your similarities like what brings you guys together and also what like sets you apart from each other um, I, I don't know I never really thought about that we get along when we have to be creative together like if I have a brand deal or he has a brand deal or he has to film a dance video for me he's so good behind the camera and knows exactly what I want and then I'm so good at like making his videos come to life through editing and we get along like really well when it comes to that thank god because we like we work together like that's right you guys share that like third eye of, yes oh, okay i know what you need yeah social media wise we're literally like can... the missing puzzle piece to each other's like projects which is nice that's perfect yeah and then i don't know if it sets us apart it's especially been recently like he likes to stay up super like the past few days he's been up till like 4 a.m Oh my. he'll hang out he'll be out like at the bar and so and i just physically can't do it and i'm like <laughs> i'm so sorry i'm so lame like i'm i'm like a loser right like i don't really drink anymore like i'll have a drink but i don't drink anymore and he's still like is like yeah like i'll go yeah, over yeah, to drink yeah. i'm like i wish i could i phys i just don't i really like have no interest i can't do that but he's like come on just like a little longer but i just like i want to go to bed at nine o'clock and yeah. then wake up early yeah he sleeps in a little bit I get up early. But that's good. You guys like compliment each other. Yeah. I think perfectly. Out of <laughs> if any that's other the couple. worst thing about a relationship, then. Well, I wasn't saying the worst. I was just <laughs> no, saying yeah. like your differences. Yeah. And that's like all I can think you of. You guys met through mutual friends, right? Yeah. Jess Carbo. Oh, yeah. That's right. Mm -hmm. oh, I'll never forget that when like Heath was starting to get really interested in you. We were. <gasps> I can't remember even. I don't know if I should say it. Or like during that time, he was kind of talking to someone else. I know. But, I know who. Oh, yeah. Oh, well, during that <laughs> well, time. Well, Jess told me. Yeah, because yeah. during that time, Heath was kind of talking to someone else, but right. he wasn't really fully invested in it, mm -hmm. and he wasn't that happy, but he had his eyes towards Mariah. So I was always asking him about his current situation, the girl he was talking to, and he was like, it's good, but there's this girl, Mariah, and she's coming over tonight. And I was like, really? Okay. Well, let's, I'm like, well, then <laughs> who let's the see who is this Mariah girl. <laughs> and you came in. I, I'll never forget. You came in through the door. I was sitting out on the balcony. Mm -hmm. And I don't know. We had like some drinks and you were just an amazing dancer. You were so <laughs> fun. I actually think I have old videos of us like all just like jamming out oh, in that like, living room. And uh, little did I know how much you guys would like really grow and click Isn't together. Isn't that crazy? I had no idea. I'm so happy he made that decision and stopped Thank dating you. that other girl. <laughs> she's nice, okay? <laughs> <laughs> it's not that right. She's not as nice as you. 
I'm nice. Yeah. Thank you. It's crazy. I'm getting these podcast editing TikToks because TikTok's like always listening. Always to you. listening. Oh my gosh! Don't even get me started. Is there something that TikTok thinks you like that you don't? <laughs> Really I know like. TikTok thinks you like Disney. Yes. <laughs> I think I like Disney and it really thinks I like pottery. In oh, that's rug, new. In rug making. I just can't stop watching people make rugs. <laughs> okay. That means you like it. I that's why it's I, on your I page. I guess it means I do like, I, yeah. I really like rug making. Has yeah. it been thinking you like anything lately? My for you page has been all over the place. I've been fi- I've been coming across a lot of drama with like all these TikTokers that I have no interest in. Really, like all their like, like people exposing them for things, and I and I literally I don't even watch them. I I genuinely keep swiping and they keep popping up. Do you ever so do the like know. the press and hold and then say not interested? What? Yeah, no, you That's can how do you that. Curate your feed. Anytime you there's something that? you don't like, you press and hold on the TikTok, and then a little menu comes up and you type not interested. Right, and then you can either hide this user i just don't like this content or hide anything with that sound and so you can start curating your feed yeah so like lately i've been getting so many of that oh. filter where it scans down your oh, face th- and i you can't can- i get it we get it I like get, i'm over it it was created they should have cool. let the one girl do it and that was it right. why is everybody doing it it's the trend it's the trend i get it's but- a trend but it's the same thing over and over again oh i messed up. why doesn't it look good <laughs> <laughs> oh my god like don't don't post it don't post it but if you're sick of the trend you can just press down on it and say not interested and then you don't have to see it again you may see it again a few more times Mm -hmm. but um yeah (sighs) like i haven't seen any like tiktokers on my page in months oh wow yeah i never see any of the top tiktokers at all all these like hype house yeah i I literally haven't seen charlie d'amelio or addison on my page like oh the top tiktokers so i don't come up i know i see yours because i follow you because you're not a top tiktoker (laughs) (laughs) you're pretty up there mariah i think you hit the for you page quite a bit oh my god thank you you're crushing on tiktok i think you're probably one of the best dancers on the platform no really yeah you're like a true mariah like one of like thank you i feel like you are like tiktok royalty what is she not am i, I, think, am I, I think, crazy yes in my eyes i think you are thank you yeah you're like your dances are ridiculous thank you yeah you crush it yeah it's i don't, fun to I don't see think you they're that bad too. i try not to read the comments not a lot of people like me believe it or not really really what yeah. do they like about what don't they like about you and i try too hard oh I'm well like, you're actually dancing i'm a dancer you're yeah not doing these like trying you know, too yeah. hard Okay, that's like, how are you going to hate on someone for being good at something? Like, right, yeah. Maybe look at yourself. For giving 110%. Yeah. <laughs> like, that's you don't, crazy. You don't, want, you don't want those people anyway if that's they're not going to. That's crazy. Gonna, yeah. I read once in an agenda book. Remember I asked you the other day if you used agenda books? We but called you them called them reminder binders. I like that. Yeah, we had agenda books, but each page had a fun fact at the bottom. And I'll never forget one of the fun facts said, your tongue is like the strongest muscle in your body. Yeah, I think that I think is true. Per pound, yeah. Wow. What yeah. it can do. I don't yeah. know what that means, but wow. In your, <laughs> per in, pound, yeah. <laughs> and your eye is the fastest healing organ, I think so. Oh. Yeah. That's why like How eye long did it take you to heal? After LASIK? Yeah. Like a day. A day? Yeah. Did it's you have to so wear sunglasses? Fast. Like how does that work? Yeah, you wear sunglasses, stay out of the light for like 24 hours and so easy. wear sunglasses during the day if you're out in bright light and that's you're it? healed yeah oh man you're, you experience dryness and you have to do these like drops for about two weeks three times a day uh joe's Joe. joe's gotten it done todd's got it done and greg barreth is about to get it i'm considering doing it but yeah. i'm probably like you a little bit nervous about it because it's yeah. just like i'm nervous i would like it but my contacts don't bother me like I'm, I'm a, um I hope my eye doctor's not listening. <laughs> I have like whatever the regular kind is, but I sleep in them. I, I it's really bad. Yeah, and everyone's I, like, I've sl- I sleep in used to sleep in mine occasionally. Yeah. Like if it was it's a big really Friday bad. night. But I've been sleeping in them since I was like thirteen. Since I got them, I don't and know I haven't. It better, Mariah. <laughs> but I go, I go to the eye doctor, and I like put on my glasses when I go, and they ask me. I'm like, yeah, I I change them every couple of weeks. Whatever you're supposed to do, I give them the answer they want, and they're like, oh my gosh, your eyes are perfect. Uh. Gonna, and everybody tells me the story. Well, you got to be careful because my friend had yeah. a time out. And I was just like, I'll oh, get yeah. there when I get there. <laughs> yeah, nightmare contact stories. It's really bad, but. Mariah, thank you so much for coming. Did you Thanks have fun? for having me. I did. Yeah. I've missed this. Yeah. I miss you guys. Yeah. It's, it's, Say something, Mike. I, I miss you <laughs> be too. Be nice. It's, it's, it's very nice to have you here. I know that you thank guys have you. a really good rapport from the previous podcast experience, but yeah. it is. For me, to have you as a first guest, and hopefully you'll return again. Uh, I would like soon. to. It depends on how the episode turns out, right, Mike? Right, editor? It's going to be great. You were great. Matt was great. I was okay. It's going to be fine. <laughs> Don't be surprised if this doesn't do very well. Why? A lot of people are very uninterested in me. 
<laughs> that's not true. That is absolutely not so true. So many people have requested you coming on this podcast because they miss us. Yeah. So I miss us. I miss us. <laughs> oh my god. I miss us. I'm I'm feeling nostalgia and I'm gonna cry. <laughs> yeah. Well, no, guys, this was fun. Thank you so much. Well, thank you so much for coming. Guys, be Anytime. sure to check out Mariah on everywhere she is on the interwebs. Mariah, keep living, keep dancing, keep laughing. Good advice. <laughs> keep living. Okay. All right. We'll see you next time. All right. Bye, guys. Bye.